Hello everybody and welcome back to Spiritfarer. So in the last episode we were hit with quite a doozy, which is that um, Stella and Daffodil are going to have their last adventure, their last voyage. Um, but I looked it up just because I wanted, I was worried that we wouldn't be able to send all the other spirits through before that. And it turns out as long as you don't go to the Everdoor alone, then you should be fine. So f we're going to worry about all our other spirits before we worry about ourselves. I think that's what Stella would do if she was in this situation, which technically she is. So let's focus on our spirits for now. Let's do this! Are you ready for another challenge? They'll be coming from all directions. Steal your mind, visualize their patterns, use your dash and light burst abilities, and act. Light burst? <laughs> Student! How pitiful. You didn't catch nearly enough. You need to double down on your efforts. You cannot even accomplish one easy request. You have failed this task. Take a moment and try again later. Whatever. Nice. There. She has a house. Now let's try this again. We're gonna get it this time. I hate this. No! <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Got it! Suck on that! Yeah, I guess you could call me a bit of an overachiever. I used to be a teacher. I still am. Back then I had a classroom. In the kind of school that made sure each student passed. The kind of school that teaches that money can buy everything. And every September it was full of students ready to learn. Each year, however, they failed to impress me. Chatting amongst themselves, passing glances around, closing their ears and their minds to my lessons. Immature little shits. <laughs> All of them. Okay! Oh. Better. I can see you are sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You have earned a carrot. Not a literal carrot, but a reward. Here it is. It is in the form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more to say to you. Feedback over. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank god we didn't have to do all of those. Oh no, wait, we do. Okay, capture one third of all severe lightning straights. Complete the gold dragon in under six minutes. Let's try the gold dragon. There we go, fully imp improved. Got the achievement. Well, this will do. This will do nicely. But let me warn you, I need the bare minimum. Please do not add anything to these quarters. Not a single ornament. Oh, well I already did.
two minutes to spare. Yay, I did it. Feeling better, aren't we? He does seem satisfied. You did the task you were asked to do. Yes, go. All eyes on you. Interesting. You are showing promise. What are you waiting for? Go on now, student. Okay, so now we need to capture over one third of all severe lightning strikes. Where do we find that? Scout! What is your problem? You ruined this whole operation! The buyer is very specific about his cargo. What am I going to do with carrots or peaches? You're the worst partner I've ever had. You can't even get a simple order straight. My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think this is going to work out. Let's go. You weren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. It's called the Everdoor. We should go now. Oh. It was one day after a particularly rowdy gym class. They came back to my room, fuming with hormones and desperation. <laughs> one of my first years on the job. Shaping the minds of the youth, they told me. Anyway, I couldn't control any of them. They couldn't keep still for a second. I wasn't shaping anything that day. I snapped. I started screaming. It was the only thing these monsters could understand. I told them truths that would only reveal themselves later in lives. When you lose a parent. When you lose your best friend. When you lose your job. When you start to really crumble from the inside. After an episode like that, I should have learned a lesson. I didn't. I vowed to focus on talent and excellence. I vowed to never let go again, and steeled my resolve. I mean, I've under I can understand snapping if the kids were being that crazy, but I'm glad she decided to try her best to not freak out. Mickey wouldn't get done up by anyone. He was untouchable. Nobody could get him. One night, he just got in his car. He probably had a few too many. And he drove that car over the overpass, straight into the lake. He didn't wake up. Winded up in a hospital bed for six months. Not moving. Still felt like him. Silent, but dangerous. You could still see the rage in his face. He didn't want to be in that bed. At least not that long. Aww. Alright, Scout. We need to talk. I've been... You know how I've been. Want to go somewhere? Yes. Alright. Oh, that's sad. Listen, let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. Alright, come on guys. Once he leaves, it'll just be Elena and Buck. I didn't plan this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the talker. I could talk your ear off. I would never shut up. That I believe. However, right now, I don't want to talk. I should just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Yeah. And think for a change. Fat chance. At my age, nothing is possible. Nobody changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying, or trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. That might make me an asshole in the end. That might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of that shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? It's because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back streets, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. I was just holding on to something from the past. My reputation, my house, my car, whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. It just doesn't change anything. Any way you slice it, we're still Maria's kids from South Broad. Nothing's ever gonna change. Not even in the end. Alright, Mickey. 
deep breaths. Let's go see what everyone has been raving about. I'll send you a postcard, kid. both of them. <laughs> ah! There we go. That was easier than I thought. Stop flying! Stop flying! I can't talk to you if you're flying! Uh, yes! I can feel its venerable magic flowing through my nostrils! Its perfume possesses the distinct aromas of lilac and elderberries. Your mother was a hamster. Look at it. Cryptic runes, silvery ornaments. Without the shadow of a doubt, the scroll is written in the ancient language of Nag... Nagadin? Make a knowledge roll. Eighteen. Fantastic. Your success indicates that you can read old Nagadian proficiently. Commander, let yourself be guided by its enchanted instructions. Once the house is built, I can finally read the rest of the scenario. Once the lair is erected, I will rest at last. And I will have the power to pierce through the ethereal veil and communicate with the elemental powers. My humble fate lies in your hands, Commander. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I roll, um, a build check. Oh, it's a nat 20. I never really felt useful teaching the gifted ones, nor did I take pleasure in breaking the spirits of the weak ones. Seeing them just struggle, not knowing why these challenges were forced upon them. They did this to themselves. They had to be there, in class. They had one task, to listen. They were barely able to do that, and I loved every second of it. Because through hardships, they would learn. Learn how to survive. Learn how to be better. Learn how to stop being burdens and become leaders. Okay. Perfect. Now, improvisations. Silk fabric, paper, linen thread, carbon powder, steel sheet, silk fabric. Oh, I bet we could get this all done. Oh, Commander, your humble servant couldn't be more excited. This mage tower is reminiscent of the glorious Halicon castles of Withlum. I can feel magic permeating through its pearly walls. It's even got a collector's bookshelf. I kneel before your solicitude, gasp in awe at your prowess. Now that this fabulous layer of wonder has been summoned to this planar realm, it is time to gaze ahead. Rejoice! The time has come for the Silver Company to proudly float its battle banner again. We will reassemble the finest group of adventurers ever to set foot in this realm. Elperin, the noble ranger, a plain-speaking high elf ranger from a line of fallen royalty who was once rescued by good-natured beholders. Some say his family castle had a very low ceiling and he sold everything he owned to pay for the Hero Academy tuition. Wondrick, the cunning bard, a sassy human bard from the mirror desert who gets mit who has serious mommy issues and gets easily attached to people, also very afraid of sharp edges. And Edmiril Dill, the... well, it's complicated. Edmiral Dill is a wilty class warlock paddle and plumber gnome who found a dysfunctional marriage who watched his family get eaten by a gelatinous cube. Don't pity him, he's quick to take credit and assign blame. And his mini maxing tendency is insufferable. Commander, let your modest servants scrawl on your map their last known dwellings. Onward, fate awaits us. And that also that sneaky bastard Jerome never gave me back my monster's manual. Oh fucking Jerome. Steel sheep. Okay, last thing, posters, paper, linen thread, carbon powder. 
there we go. Fully improved buck. Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. I won't say this often. Your survival probability is rather high. Just don't let your guard down. You won't end up like grilled chicken. Remember, use your dash ability in there. You'll need to move really fast. Heads up, thunder is here. Oh, great. one in all honesty. The thunder task is the one we've done the most! bad. I wouldn't put it on a leaderboard or you on a podium, but you've got some talent. This should be a good reward for you. I don't have anything else. Scram. Another treasure map, huh? Hang on. Treasure map. Oh, a letter from your sister. Oh, I forgot. Probably shouldn't open that. Okay, yeah. So, we will go find the treasure Elena left for us next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.